Hey guys, in this video I will guide you how to use Tomcat server in Apache NetBeans IDE. We will learn how to add Apache Tomcat server in NetBeans IDE. You know, uh, Tomcat is a very popular web server for hosting Java web application and NetBeans IDE is a very popular you know, Java IDE. And you will learn how to deploy a Java web application onto Tomcat server inside NetBeans IDE how to start and stop the server how to run and debug a Java web application running on uh, Tomcat server inside NetBeans IDE and how to configure Tomcat server in NetBeans in this video I'm using the following software programs Java Development Kit JDK version 8 Apache NetBeans IDE version 12 and uh, Apache Tomcat server version uh, 9.0 so make sure that you have your following software programs installed on the computer. This is NetBeans IDE. As you can see, I'm using the latest version of NetBeans IDE as of July 2020. You see, this version of NetBeans is Apache NetBeans version 12. You see, running on Java 1.8.0. Yeah. And for Apache Tomcat server, I have an installation of Apache Tomcat in this directory Apache uh, Tomcat 9.0 here There you see Now to add a uh, Tomcat server in NetBeans IDE, you can go to the menu Tools here and Servers And this in this Servers dialog, you can add the server Click the Add server button here, and here uh, that means allows us to choose a server. Uh, so we choose Apache Tomcat on Tom EE. Click next and uh, spe specify the server location, the directory of the Tomcat installation. Click uh, browse button and uh, locate the installation directory of uh, Apache Tomcat here you see Apache Tomcat uh, 9.0 open and we should provide the username and password for the credentials of the user in the Tomcat manager admin password any password here I type the password is Nimda and that means we create a user if it does not exist on the server and note that this is a user uh, that allows the uh, IDE uh, to manage uh, Tomcat server uh, manage the application to uh, manage uh, deploy Java web, Java web application so click finish and you can see uh, Apache Tomcat or Tomi added to the server here and you can see by default the server port number is a um, port for accessing uh, Java web application and the setup port number to allow the, the IDE to set up the server and in this uh, wizard dialog you can configure the various uh, configuration for NetBeans IDE okay just click close and in the services uh, tab on the left here you can see the server's node here Apache Tomcat and you can right click to start the server you see start in debug mode start in profile mode rename or even edit the server XML configuration file or view the server log or view the properties we bring in the dialog that you have seen now let's start Apache Tomcat server in the NetBeans IDE in the server's node here now right click on Apache Tomcat and click the command start in the context menu and you can see uh, NetBeans opens uh, two output view. The first one uh, is uh, for Apache Tomcat 
or to me e lock that displays uh, the logging information the console uh, control output of the server and the second one Apache Tomcat or to me e uh, is a uh, Uh, logging uh, information in, uh, printed uh, by the server so you can see the server is up and running and uh, you can see you can see in the in this uh, output the last uh, message is uh, server startup in uh, 1391 milliseconds uh, that means uh, Apache Tomcat server has been successfully started up and running uh, inside admins IDE and in the server view you can see the web applications you can see the some uh, default uh, web applications uh, provided by Tomcat installation uh, home page, documentation, examples, host manager, manager program you can right click on uh, uh, web application name here to uh, access to view it in browser uh, for example uh, right click on this in, uh, root context to see the um, home page of the server open in browser and you can see the home page of Apache uh, Tomcat uh, server uh, very similar as uh, you uh, use uh, Tomcat uh, independently outside uh, an IDE similarly you can also access the manager application here open in the browser and uh, we will access the uh, manager application to deploy and deploy manage deploy Java web application and we need to provide the username and password uh, sign in and you can see this is a Tomcat, Tomcat web application manager and to stop the server just uh, right click and stop or you can uh, open the server output here and uh, click the red button here to stop the server so I click here to stop the server and you can see the server has been uh, stopped and you can start the server again by uh, clicking the play green button here start the server start the server in debug mode start the server in normal mode or start the server again here in the context menu next uh, I will show you how to deploy a Java web application onto the Tomcat server inside NetBeans IDE and access uh, the web application. So in NetBeans, I have a Java web application project. As you can see, make sure that this is a Java web application. And uh, right click, run. Yeah, and it will ask to choose a server for deployment. So we choose uh, Apache Tomcat server here from the list and check this option to remember uh, this option in the current IDE session and click OK and uh, that means uh, we start uh, Tomcat uh, to deploy the web application and it automatically opens the uh, uh, browser windows you can see uh, the bookstore website application has been uh, deployed successfully and uh, we see this home page here uh, in the uh, output of the server. You can see the SQL statement uh, printed by the application, and you can also notice that uh, that means deploy our web location here and in the server view expand the web application you can see uh, our application has been deployed here and you can open the uh, Tomcat manager application and you can see uh, the bookstore website application uh, has been deployed here and its status is started here running through 
that's it. I close other tabs and you can see uh, details about book head to cat uh, button. Uh, that means uh, the web application uh, is uh, running uh, perfectly without any problem on Apache Tomcat server. And uh, when done, you can stop the server or stop uh, a single application here. Stop. And only this web application uh, stop. And try to uh, access and we got an error for, for not far. And let's start again. And refresh. You see. And we can also undeploy a web application from this context menu. Very convenient, right? You see, undeploy. And the web application has been removed from the server. And now we stop the server. Stop. Next, uh, I will show you how to debug a Java web application running on uh, Apache Tomcat server in Eclipse IDE. So in this uh, bookstore website project, um, I have a Java service class home service here. And uh, to debug, uh, we need to set a breakpoint in the uh, uh, Java code file. So I set a, a breakpoint at this line. That's, uh, Right click and took the line breakpoint or just click on this line. So a breakpoint is set at this line in this Java class and then we debug and right click on this project and debug or run the debug command from the toolbar here. Debug project. And that means we deploy our Java application and running in debug mode. And it opens the browser. And uh, since the home page is uh, being invoked, and you can see the, it stops at this line with the green background here. And we can use the NetBean debugging toolbar to uh, step over. Step into, step out, or continue. I step over, and it will jump to the next line. You see, or continue. Yeah, I click continue to continue the application, and the whole page uh, will be loaded normally. So that's uh, how to uh, debug a Java web application. In that means just run the project in debug mode, and that means we automatically uh, open uh, the related views to debugging. And uh, if we want to end the debugging session, we can uh, terminate and stop the server here. Stop. Now I will show you how to configure uh, settings for Tomcat in uh, NetBeans. You can right click on the server name in the server node here and properties. We open the configuration dialog for the server here. You can uh, change the username password or change the server port number. Change Java platform the version. And the most frequently uh, configuration is uh, change the server port number. Here I change the server port number from 8080 to just 80 to, to the default port number of um, web. That's it. And we can close. And uh, start the server. And start. And 
uh, it asks uh, for the username and password to access Tomcat Management application. And you can see the server has been start started successfully and it is now listening on the new port, uh, port 80. And you can see the deploy application bookstore website here. Yeah. Right click to open in the browser. Yeah, in a browser. And you can see the port number is 80, so it doesn't appear in the URL because uh, port 80 is a default port number of uh, web application. Perfect, right? So far you have learned how to use uh, Tomcat server in NetBeans uh, IDE, how to add Apache Tomcat server in NetBeans, how to deploy the web application, how to start stop the server, how to run and debug the web application, and how to configure Tomcat server in NetBeans IDE. I hope you have found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share this video. Thank you.